This first one's a little embarrassing because I already did the tune up here and now they have no heat. Well, for starters, that's wrong because it is 40 something degrees outside. Outdoor 60? No. Second. Nothing. Gotta be a switch off somewhere. Mm, no, that's all right. That's all right. Well, the switch is off. Water level's just not high enough. Really? I mean, the 51 is sitting pretty high over the normal level. Like typically that wants to be a little bit lower because it's you're gonna have some room for the float. In theory, don't quote me on that. Nah, something doesn't seem right. Now I've got it filled to the top, which is way over the fill line. So it should be floating by now. While I'm waiting for the boiler to bit. So while I'm waiting for the boiler to fill, we're gonna focus our attention on changing the outdoor sensor because it's not 76 out. I wish it was 76 out, but it's not 76 out. I gotta label them. You wanna see my collection of Techmark screwdrivers? And this is after giving half of them away. Just please, please, please don't tell anybody I work with I have this many, or they will hunt me down, tie me up, and steal all my screwdrivers. I don't know why, but everyone has become obsessed with them. All it is right there. Probably can't even see it. That little resistor. And I had to slow this down because it's full and just keeps filling. I mean, unless the top is clogged, but really? I mean, I just don't get it. If you saw the video where I swapped this out, it's brand new. Why is it overfilling? Hmm. I'm gonna run through a couple more things that might be. I'm gonna save you all the boring details and just let you know what it was. I don't know how this happened. Unless it was just loose when I put it in. Oh my God. I'm getting myself all wet. Well, there's your problem. Rookie mistake. I just don't get it. What changed? 
It's only been in for like two months. <sighs> anyway, I got a lot more I got to do today than worry about this. So let's get it.